This is Reconnaissance Patrol, Angel 1. Come in, Air Command. We're currently flying over Sector 3 of Basra Republic airspace. No activity noted during the night patrol. Now returning to base. Over. Copy that, Angel 1. You're now entering enemy airspace. Use Route Delta Echo to return home. Over. Roger that, Command. Angel 1, out. You heard him. We're flying Delta Echo tonight. Set the nav coordinates. Yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> What's the point of these night recons, anyway? This is a ceasefire zone. No one's gonna be looking for a fight here. Would you quit complaining all the time? You think our guest really wants to hear that? Speak of the devil. It's open, Meryl. What's that about the mission? I can hear you back there. Uh, sorry. What did I tell you? I don't blame you, though. I'm bored as hell, too. What the- It's a radar spike! They've locked onto us! Uh, are you kidding me? It's against you and Resolution to have any anti-air radar! This is a United Nations peacekeeping patrol aircraft. Your actions are in violation of UN Resolution. Warning. Missile lock detected. I, I don't believe it! Missile launched and closing in! This is insane. Switching over to manual control. Meryl, get back in your seat. Right. What's its course? Incoming at 6 o'clock. Ready to launch decoy. Launch decoy. Rolling right. Missile deflected. Second one incoming! Persistent bastards. Launch second decoy. Well? Decoy ineffective. Missile still approaching. God damn it. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday! This is Angel 1. We are taking hostile- you finally made it. Kept you waiting, huh? Okay, let's go over this one more time. The two of you have been assigned to rendezvous with our personnel from the downed aircraft and bring them back. This is the signal from the nanomachine transmitters Merrill and the other crew members were wired with. Don't worry, they're all safe. But they're behind enemy lines, aren't they? Yes, that's why you were called here. Why didn't you just go get them yourselves? This chopper's equipped with all the latest electronic countermeasures. It'd have no trouble dodging a few missiles. It's only insurance. Besides, this is a cargo helicopter. It'd draw too much attention. Hence why we brought along that high-speed attack buggy. Nice excuses you've got there. I'll be waiting at the edge of the cease fire line in case anything happens. Huh. You get the easy job. Snake, you can't smoke in here. Oh, come on, Colonel. Lighten up. So we can have any backup if this thing goes south? Don't count on it. This is a search and rescue mission under UN operational control. That's why we assigned you a partner to accompany you. Guess I'm gonna have to babysit for a little while. He's a member of Delta Force. They're every bit as good as Foxhound. Oh yeah? Could've fooled me. Look at him. He's been sitting on the floor fondling his weapon ever since we left. He's some sort of gun geek. You'll have to ask him. By the way, pick up your cigarette butt, Snake. We wouldn't want the crew to find it. I know, I know. I just have one last question. What was Merrill doing on that plane? Huh. I figured that was coming. It's your call, Colonel. Alright, I won't keep anything from you. You deserve that much. Merrill's changed ever since Shadow Moses. Changed? She started volunteering for dangerous missions. Top secret ops with less than a 10% chance of survival. And you know what's behind it? Honestly, it seems like she was trying to become like you. <sighs> like me? It was as if she was trying to follow you in your footsteps, trying to get closer to you any way she could. I became afraid. I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to her. That's why I sent her to work for the UN peacekeepers. I thought it would be less risky. So that's why you've come back as an observer for them. I got dragged into this. You trying to blame me for this? Relax, Colonel. You know me by now. Anyway, Merrill's got the blood of a soldier. She won't go down without a fight. You should know that better than anyone. The blood of a soldier? Don't tell me you- That's enough of this. 
I'm gonna go check out Gun Nut over there. 25, 26, and 27. Perfect. I'll just leave three out to prevent any jams. A Soviet AKM assault rifle. Superior performance, unaffected by dirt, and no one will know we're Americans. Trying to impress me? You're Sergeant Alan Ashiba, right? <laughs> hey, Snake. Finished your date with Colonel? You could say that. So what are you taking? An AKM like me? Unfortunately, I'm stuck with this. A SOCOM? What about your rifle? Don't need one. <laughs> For real? If I do, I'll just grab one in the field. Playtime's over, you two. Get in the buggy. We're beginning landing preparations. Finally. It's go time. Keep your gun ready. Landing's the most dangerous part of a mission like this. Snake, can you hear me? We're at 50 feet. Now opening cargo hatch. It's pitch black outside. We'll need our IR goggles. Releasing wheel clamps. We're touching down. Commencing mission. What's going on? Anti-aircraft missiles have locked onto us. We're aborting the operation. Get back inside, now. Negative, Colonel. We're already outside. I said return to the cargo deck. That's in order. Snake, answer me. Snake. Snake!